Okay, I have my 2013 Tesla Model 3 right here without ultrasonic sensors with the latest 23.6.9 release just came out today. I'm very excited about this. This is one of the things I was really disappointed about was potentially not having any kind of sensor or park assist on the vehicle or any idea where I might be when I'm parking the car, moving around in my garage. So really excited for this update and to see what, you know, we've got here. So hopefully good things come to those who wait. And uh, yeah, let's check it out. So only note it is raining uh, outside, so it's possible that rain has gotten on the camera or cameras that may affect the ability of the vehicle to perform this accurately. You can see right there, park assist is loading. So wait for it to figure itself out. And immediately it tells me to stop. I'm in reverse right now. So it's telling me I am close enough that I need to stop. Which is interesting because I'm definitely at least two or three feet behind me. Um, but I guess it makes sense to be on the safe side, but it's still kind of surprising. Pull out a little bit here. I think my kid's little toy car next to me. Toy car and wagon is a car. All right, let's back in the garage. Let's see what we see here. Kind of nice to be able to see this as you're backing up for sure. Just you've got some lines there where things might be nearby. There's the doors, obviously. I've got some stuff stacked near the doors. Okay, let's see. We get closer what we see. Oh, we've got numbers. That's encouraging. Don't think they're that accurate, though. We're at 22, 21. And it's telling me stop. I am definitely pretty far away. Let me drip, pull forward a little bit, and then we'll back up again until we get some numbers we'll measure. Back up until we get to, like... Some of the teens. Let's see here. 17, 16, 50. Okay, so somewhere in like the 17 to 15 range is what it's saying where I'm at in terms of how far I am. Let's get out the tape measure. Let's look at the tail of tape here. Fantastic uh, YouTube reduction quality. Holding a camera and pulling out a tape measure. Look at my beautiful fingers there. Fantastic. Beautiful. All right, what do we got? Let's see. We're being kind of generous, not exactly the exact back of the car. We're at least three feet. We're close to between 36 and 49, 40 inches on the side of the vehicle. We're probably about 24. Yeah, it's about 24, we'll call it 24. So no concern on that side of the vehicle. But, and as far as the back goes, definitely no concern. Um, so that's interesting. Uh, definitely not super accurate, I would say. A little disappointing because you'd want it to be a little bit better than that. You certainly don't want to throw so many errors at you that you get concerned um, without reason. You can see it's really telling me I need to stop when I've still got at least two feet to go. And again, I, you know, better to err on the side of caution, I suppose, but a little disappointing. I wonder if that mat on the ground is throwing things off. I wonder if it thinks that this mat is actually something I could bump into. So let's remove that from the equation. Let's see. Will that make a difference? Place your bets. Uh, maybe, but not by much. It still really wants me to stop there. That's kind of discouraging. I mean, you saw it was telling me to stop, and I still had some more to go. Let's let's back up. Let's pull forward and back up again. Let's get to a place where we think we can measure here. Okay, right, like 12, 12, we'll say 12, 13, somewhere around there. All right, let's get the tape measure and see what we got. Again, fantastic YouTube production quality. Here comes the one hand with the tape measure. You can see there's at least enough space for me to walk through there easily, so it's nowhere near close to a foot or a gap. All right, let's see what we got. Yeah, 36 inches almost exactly. You can go less and say it was 20. When you say it's like 30, that's still a pretty big gap between 30 and 12. At least double. So again, a little disappointing. I mean, you know, the, the whole goal of this, of this is supposed to be that Tesla Vision is going to replace, you know, USS. 
and at least in this first iteration, that does not appear to be the case, at least from an accuracy perspective. I mean, I'm happy to have something on the car, right? But it's definitely not as reliable or accurate as I would like it to be, at least at this, at least, at least at this point. Again, I'm wondering if it just sees stuff on the ground and it thinks it's an obstacle. Like, I wonder if those mats over there, if it thinks that that's something in the way. I mean, you can see it jutting in here and kind of cutting in. I wonder if it thinks that that is something I'm going to back into. Ignore the uh, dirty shoes. Ignore the uh, bottle of vinegar that falls over. Just ignore just pretty much everything in this segment here. Just, just don't pay attention to it. Just look over Alright. Does this make a difference? Place your bets. What do you think? I'm oh, too close. Maybe it's still too close to me. Maybe I'm still too close to those things. I mean, it clearly thinks there's something back there that I'm going to run into. So let's pull forward and back up again. There's the side of the garage, which again, nice to see. Nice to have something displayed there. Show them close to something. Okay, same deal, getting close, getting close. Again, tell me to stop. I, I've got a pretty good distance again between me and the actual object. And I can't stop there because the you know the garage door wouldn't close in the, close in front of the vehicle. So I had to back up that far. So I had to push through that to get to a point where I'm gonna stop my vehicle every day, which I don't know. A little disappointing. Definitely not where it needs to be yet, but I guess better than nothing at this point. Thanks for checking out my video.